Hello everyone, Chris here. Today we're going to take a look at the cough assist insufflation, exufflation device. Um, very helpful in secretion removal. I've had experience with the cough assist with paraplegics and quadriplegics that we were um, managing to uh, move, remove slowly from the ventilator. Uh, and we could provide this therapy to help really expand the lungs and on exhalation there's a negative pressure that actually helps pull secretions and helps the patient cough. Uh, so we're going to demonstrate the uh, cough assist. This is an older model um, on our mannequin here today and basically what we have is a circuit. Very simple. We have a filter um, on the cough assist here to protect it from uh, any cross-contamination. A simple piece of corrugated tubing. In this case we can use a mask on our mannequin, but as well as we can connect this to tracheostomy or a endotracheal tube with the proper 15 millimeter adapter that we can connect directly on to the airway. And so let me demonstrate, it's a, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, I'll show you the controls, uh, close up of the controls here in a moment, but you can, you can basically set uh, the inspiratory pressure, how much pressure you're giving when, uh, when we flip the, uh, the inspiratory side, the switch over. Uh, let them take a big deep breath in, it'll give them some positive pressure. And then when we toggle the switch back to exhalation, uh, basically it's a negative uh, pressure that's sucking on the airways. And often uh, you'll have the patient cough at that point. It'll kind of spontaneously have them cough and can help remove some of the secretions. So let me go ahead and show you and demonstrate uh, the procedure to this patient here, our mannequin. We're gonna turn the cough assist on here. I've got the inspiratory pressure set at about the midpoint, so we're not starting too, too high. And on the exhalation side, I have it about the minimum as well. As well as you have an in inhaled flow, so you can adjust the flow here to a high flow or a low flow. So there are some custom settings. I'm going to start on the high flow settings. And this switch here is the manual control where you can select inspiratory. So when the patient inhales, you give them this breath. And that's set at about 10 centimeters water right there. And again, we can adjust that up. And when the patient exhale, we go exhale and that's a, that's a vacuum or negative pressure to help have the patient cough and to help draw secretions outward. So let's go ahead and place the mask on our patient here, nice and tight. We're gonna instruct the patient on what we're doing here. Um, you're gonna watch the patient breathe and uh, get in sync with them. And when the patient's ready to inhale, you go in, you, uh, you toggle the switch over to in, inhale, and then toggle it back on exhalation, and usually that's when you're gonna get your cough, and then back to inspiration, have them take another big breath in, and switch the toggle back to exhalation, it draws the breath back out, and then they usually will have a big cough, uh, and again, you know that you're, uh, you're beginning to move some secretions. Uh, again, uh, if you have an artificial airway, we can connect that to the trach, and follow the same maneuvers. All right, have the patient take a big deep breath in, 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 good, 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 good. And then flip the toggle to exhalation. And then the, then the vacuum will occur, drawing secretions outward. And like I said, generally, uh, it will uh, uh, have the patient spontaneously cough. It will trigger that spontaneous, uh, spontaneous cough at the same time. Uh, so again, here's some basic controls. We're gonna do some close-ups so that you can see the actual controls and how we'll set those. But again, very simple uh, procedure to use. Mask on the patient's face, watch them breathe, encourage them to take a big breath, and when they do, toggle the inspiratory switch over to inspiratory. That will deliver your set pressure. Give them a really big, nice breath, and then over to exhalation, and it'll help pull the exhalation uh, breath outward. And then again, coming along with that will be secretions, and usually that cough will be uh, stimulated at that point. Now you can begin to see with a patient that doesn't have good control, doesn't have ability to take big breaths and they get secretion uh, beginning to uh, cause atelectasis and, and problems with the lungs. This is the way we can expand the lungs by giving that big breath. And then again, by drawing back and having a negative pressure on exhalation, uh, have the patient uh, begin to move secretions upward. Um, I've seen with uh, endotracheal tubes or trachs, uh, when we uh, draw and hit the exhalation side, um, the patient's secretions are coming up and 
uh, you, you should be ready to suction because uh, the secretions will follow very quickly after you begin the cough assist uh, therapy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the controls close up. All right, everyone, so there's a close up of the Respironix cough assist. This is an older version. Uh, this is completely manual. Um, so again, you have your inspiratory pressure here where you're gonna be setting that. You have a flow control, inhale flow control, faster or slower. On this side, uh, close to the exhalation, you have the exhalation, the negative pressure that we're gonna be delivering or drawing back on. And what you do is you use this toggle switch to trigger ins inspiration or the inhaled breath by the patient and then exhalation to draw that negative pressure. So you can see on the manometer, the side over here is the negative pressure. And when we hit that, we're actually drawing about negative 12 sonometers of water pressure. And that's going to really help pull um, the breath out as well as bring secretions up with it. And again, the inspiratory side, you can give a good positive breath of breath, pressure breath. Let me go ahead and increase that a little bit further. And that gives them a big breath, uh, st simulating um, uh, some of the same things that we do with the spontaneous cough. We take a big breath in and then we do our cough maneuvers, maneuver and exhale outward. Um, these patients are compromised. They can't take that big breath in. They don't have musculature, um, uh, good musculature control. So the cough assist can be utilized to help them uh, in a way, our artificial cough. It gives them that big breath, that positive pressure uh, breath to help them inspire. And then on exhalation, we can draw that back and pull that breath back out as well as any secretions that will follow and, and hopefully break loose and mobilize that secretions outward. So very simple uh, controls, just a few controls with the uh, older version, the connection here where we have a filter in our corrugated tubing uh, connected to our mask. Uh, the newer models actually have an automatic mode um, so that you can set your parameters, place the mask on the patient or connect to the artificial airway and the machine will cycle along with the patient's spontaneously bre uh, spontaneous breathing. Again, delivering the positive pressure on the inspiratory side and when the patient exhales, the machine will uh, sense the exhalation and draw back and give the negative flow on exhalation. Um, but you can manually control the uh, newer model as well. I prefer, and most of the therapists I work with prefer to watch the patient and synchronize with the patient and use the manual control. In this case, this paddle, if you will, to give the breath in and then to exhale the breath outward. Um, we, you know, I've, like I say, most of the therapists I work with prefer to do it manually, but the newer version is a little more sophisticated and the automatic mode is available. So that's the basic uh, information and you can see the close-up of the cough assist controls.